Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm the Toaster, and today we're going to react to Joji Die For You. Ooh, I'm happy, I'm excited, I love Joji, you know, I've mentioned it before, he's such a nice artist just to listen to and vibe to. Now, if a name suggests anything, it's going to be either a breakup song or a love song. I'm leaning towards breakup songs, you know, he always makes these sad little ballads, but I really enjoy it, they've got such a nice vibe. Uh, this is the official music video, so I'll put a link in the description for it. And, you know, I'm happy, I'm excited. Hopefully it's a piano ballad. Not a big deal if it isn't, but we'll see. I'm sure I'll love it either way. So I'm going to pull it up here. I'm not going to talk too long, you know, I'm going to get straight into it because I'm hyped, I'm hyped. I really love Joji. So I'm 3, 2, 1. Let's kick it. Oh, sorry, lyrics over here. Let's kick it. Already piano. Swear I couldn't sleep awake last night. No point in turning off the lights. Not the same without your head on my shoulders. Growing pains, but I don't want to get older. Almost like. Yeah, it's a breakup song. I'm not sure what the video means yet. You know, it could be like a glimpse of us where I kind of recognized after a while that it's how people act when they break up. But so far, I'm not too sure. Um, really nice vibe as always. And the piano is so, you know, just smooth and calming. Didn't know that the party was over, and it's true that I need you to get closer. Mm. You know, we left almost like we left it all on red, you know, being left on red in a text message. Um, that's when you send a message and they read it but don't answer. So, yeah, he's kind of, I think what he's trying to say is like he's comparing his relationship breakup to being left on red. You know, they've communicated, but. Um, they're not addressing anything, you know, they're not talking about it. So he's using it as kind of like a metaphor for being left on red, but also, you know, ignoring the talking and communication and, you know, what happened in the relationship. Didn't know the party was over. You know, he, I think he means party is in relationship. So um, since the relationship ended, you know, he's, he's considered a party. He's obviously enjoyed it, and, you know, he can't believe it's over. Like, there's not much to say about that. Now, I heard a little bit of a drop here, so I'm going to go back. I think it might be getting into either a chorus or, like, a bridge. I need you to get closer. Burning photos. How to learn to let go. Wow, this is really nice, really nice. I think that is the bridge. Um, you know, burning photos, had to let go, you know. I guess that's what you do after breakup. Even I've done that, you know. I had some Polaroids. I burned them, kind of regret it now, but I'm over the relationship now, so it's kind of fun. Um, but it happens, you know. You kind of feel spite and, you know, you don't want to relive those memories by looking at the photos, so you burn them. I think we're going a chorus now, so I'm excited, I'm excited. Somebody in another skin. I heard that you're happy without me. And now it's true. Somebody in another skin. That's a beautiful chorus. You know, he's heard that she's happy without him. And, you know, he's saying, I hope you are happy. Like, he loves her that much that he wishes her to be happy with somebody else. 
And, you know, I think that's good because it, it shows he's willing to let her go as long as she's happy. You know, maybe he didn't treat her the best. He's mentioned before that, you know, he regrets stuff and other songs. So maybe, you know, he's like, well, you're happier without me. So, you know, I'm happy with that. I'm happy you're happy. And, you know, he's saying, I'd still die for you. So he, he still obviously really loves her. And he's. it seems like he's unable to move on, you know. He's still thinking about her, still wishing she's happy, still able to die for her. I don't know, it's a really beautiful chorus. He's really good at showing his love for an ex. I think he's done it like three times before and it's always so beautiful. Oh, I love that, you know, synthiness. I hope you're getting everything you needed. Found the puzzle piece and feel completed. Just wanted you to know every reason. Hope you really know that I mean that I couldn't see the forest from the tree. Only time we speak. Yeah, so, you know, you couldn't see. Um, the forest from the trees so you know he's been blinded he's um uh, i know there's a what i know this is a sentence that means something because when you're in a tree you know and then in a forest the forest is usually bigger than a tree i'd say so maybe he's saying like in the tree he's and he can't look over the forest and you know he's unable to see the bigger picture from like the breakup um his his vision's blurry, clouding his judgment, etc. I believe that's kind of what he means in that. I think this is such a beautiful song. I'm trying not to... I'm not getting emotional because it's a, it seems like a happier sort of breakup song. Like, full... What was the last one I did? Was it Like You Do? I think that's what the song was called. Um, but, you know, I reacted to that and, geez, it made me nearly cry. And obviously I did cry in Glimpse of Us. I don't think this will make me cry. It's just kind of got me... You know, swaying. From the trees. Only time we speak is in my dreams. Burning photos. Had a little let go. I used to know. Ooh, that used to be. This is such a nice, I like how he goes into the chorus from the pre-chorus, it sounds so nice. Like, I heard that you're happy. Uh, this is such a beautiful song, as always. Before he gets into this instrumental, I only just noticed the drums in the back. They're so good. You know, give him a listen if you didn't hear them. It's like crashing and you got cymbals. It's just such nice background music to go along with the song. I really enjoyed that little synth ending there. 
really fit with the tone of his like chorus and his pre his bridge and his just instrumental at the end it really kind of finished everything off this was such a nice song um you know he's he's almost you know showing just how much he loves this girl through a sad song because it sounds like you know a depressing sad song but it it sounds hopeful to me. I, I take this as a hopeful song, you know, because he wants her to be happy. He, you know, he, you know, he wants her to um, feel like the relationship's a better move than to be with him. You know, he'd die for her still, but overall he, he's, you know, accepted that she's happy now. I know, it, it's hopeful for me. I didn't get emotional in this one. Um... But it was still such a beautiful song. I really enjoyed the background music in this one as well. You know, it wasn't a piano ballad, so that's kind of sad. I mean, I <laughs> I like piano, but you know, I, I'll live. It was still a great song without the piano. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to re-listen to it because it's got me conflicting with my emotions. I don't know whether to be happy or, you know, kind of sad about it. Either way, it was a great song. Um, I'm going to add it to a playlist. I'm going to listen to it straight after once again. Now, I don't know what the what the video was about. You know, I understood Glimpse of Us and some of the other ones a bit, but I don't know what this one was about. It could have just been random video clips, I think. But if there was a deeper meaning, please let me know. Um, geez, it was just a beautiful song. The video really went well as well. You know, the visuals are stunning. Um, if you enjoyed my reaction, please like and subscribe. Any recommendations, comments, I'll read them all. Appreciate them all. Uh, cheers for all that. Uh, the support I've been getting has been amazing, you know. So it means a lot for me. Um, I don't know, I'm speechless. It wasn't a song that left me speechless, but the emotion behind it has left me speechless. You know, he's, he's, Joji's a special artist. He really is. He, he can't tell if he's sad or he just genuinely loves somebody that much. But either way, I think it's a perfect song in its own right. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, you know, Joji, you know, what can I say? I've got more Joji coming out. I'm not sure what song I'll do next, but I'll, I'll find one. Maybe from the Nectar album. But, you know, any recommendations, put them down there. And I'll do them. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you later. Cheers.